Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for our flash webinar on Google Business Profile Publishing. Uh, my name is Louise. Today with me, I have Pete to answer any question you might have on the uh, q and section of Zoom. The aim of our flash webinar is to offer you a quick but in-depth presentation of one of our key features. And today we're discussing Google Publishing Profile Publishing. Um, so stay with me. I will share you my screen so you can see my dashboard. Here we are. The Google Business Profile is one of the most powerful ways to improve a business local search engine optimization, that's SEO, and online visibility. If you are a local business, claiming your Google Business Profile is one of the first steps you should take to increase your company's online presence as it helps your business stand out on both Google Search and Google Map. Your Google Business Profile is the perfect place to share customer testimonial, um, upcoming events, new products, services, any special offer you want to share with a potential customer. You should post frequently to Google Business Profile to keep your information fresh. Um, that's quite important to remember, but unless you change your default setting, posts only appear for a week after you first share them. So be sure to focus on quality over quantity and stick to a post schedule that works for you and your team. The once you have identified a scheduling cadence that is working for you and your team, you can take advantage of our scheduling slot feature just here. Uh, it's just to, um, I will show you in Post Builder, it's just a way to make things a bit faster when you're building your post. So at least for today's example, I would say we want to post every Thursday at um, 8 p.m. And that's done. Something else I wanted to discuss with you since we're here is um, social account. Though, as you probably know already, uh, Loomly only lets you connect one type of social icon per calendar. So in other words, if you have five business profile, you will need to create five calendars, which, which is fine. I will show you on Post Builder um, how to deal with that. So I will now create my post. So see here, it's offering me automatically Thursday, 8 p.m. Obviously, I could just decide to pick a different time, but it's just, again, to make it a bit faster for you. Subjects, just the name of the post on my calendar. Label, I will pick webinar. Just as a reminder, label, it's great to help you filter your posts on calendars and analytics later on. So on step two, I will select Google. That's what we're doing today. And if you see here, Include this post to one or more other calendar. So this is what we're just discussing. If you have more than one uh, Google business profile and you have to create more than one calendars, you can select all of the relevant calendars here. So the post that we are creating will be scheduled and published on all of those selected calendars. So now we're on step three. This is where we're going to define our generic content. Webinar, I'm going to add a little emoji. I'm having my hashtag here um, based on, you know, on my text, what's trending or collection. You can create one. I'm going to use the one that I have on the webinar. See, add it to the copy and here they are. So here you can add um, your media. You can do a, um, create a URL with UTM parameters. Could be important for Google. Here is how you add your media, and I will choose this picture here. Here on Omni Studio, you have the possibility to pick um, all of the supported crop and format by social media. You can add text, play with textures and colors if you want to. And now we're moving to step four of Post Builder. Now this is where you can adjust um, your content if you have selected more than one social media. It's not the case here, we're just doing Google, we're just focusing on that. So once we've written the poll, there are five best practices that I wanted to share with you to make sure that you are being noticed on Google Business Profile. So first, obviously, <laughs> add photos to catch customer eyes. Make sure the photos are in focus, well lit, and nicely framed. 
Two, make headlines or post texts with need to know details. For example, uh, Mother's Day special brunch package or kids eat free on weekend, that kind of things to attract attention. Three, keep it brief. Include only the necessary detail, such as get $5 off your first order or, um, I don't know, enjoy a famous French toast or something like that. Four, add a clear call to action, such as book now or leave a review to help customers know what to do next. Um, would you scroll down? This is all the button that you can select with Loomly. And finally, as we already discussed, post frequently to keep your information fresh. Unless you change the default setting, posts will only appear for a week after you first share them. That's very important. So just here for the example, I'm going to select, I don't know, book. Um, just make sure that you add the relevant URL link, otherwise your button is not going to work. And finally, here we can select under which categories the post will appear. So it can be offer, event, or what's new. I will leave it on what's new without the um, option you have. Again, here you could you know, use a completely different image if you want. You always have the possibility to change things. I go to next, submit for approval. And we, here we are on post preview. You can have a look at your post. If you want to change something, click on edit. You can start collaborating with your team and you're good to go. Uh, that's it for today. It was a very brief uh, flash webinar. I hope you found it useful. I will leave this session open for a little bit longer so you can finish to ask your question uh, and see what Pete will uh, answer to you. We have a FIQ article that you can have a look at. If you're not finding the information you want, please uh, contact us on our chat or you can write to us at contact at Thank you again for taking the time for joining us today.